he saturated his person with flammables and struck the fateful matchhead. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com Cheshire Superior Court in New Hampshire, May 21st, 2019. Here we see a spread before us the lamentable and unproductive locale of a great and defiant act. One which is resonated, although perhaps less than it should, throughout New Hampshire politics ever since its occurrence in 2011. He was standing a man meters from the spot at which I affix. At the spot which you now view. A flawed and tortured specimen of our green planet race, driven by a hopeless melancholy, procurable perhaps only by the inhuman workings of illness, broken love, or monopoly governance. It was the latter which drove Thomas Ball to his hideous end, here on the ramparts that enter the facility and mar its grotesque purposes. Mr. Ball had committed, years previously, a lamentable uh, but not unforgivable act. He had struck his young daughter, perhaps in a moment of fury, surely regretted until the final scorching breaths. In part for this crime, he was made, his whole remaining life, a manipulatee of the Monopoly Court. Eventually, its ministers determined to seize from him new forfeits in assets, demanding of him recurring payments which he believed he could not provide, and perhaps would never be liberated from. Do you briefly his, uh, his appearance at this prosecutorial event, lacking as he was the necessary financial tribute, was feared likely to result in his captivity. This particular confinement he was never to see. In a final, perhaps he hoped also inaugural demonstration of civic rebellion, he saturated his person with flammables and struck the fateful matchhead. Instantly alight, he was reported by onlookers to bear the sudden excruciation with a relative calm, merely stumbling forward toward, uh, toward his initial and initially fiery It's initially fiery, um, mm. remain at your post, remain at your post. Uh, initially, initially fiery, uh, resting place, uh, by the entrance. All was over in perhaps 90 seconds. Or was it? The ball had preceded his fateful self-immolation with a written manifesto uh, detailing his grievances against the arguably unaccountable judicial process. In the face of uh, much criticism, Keane's local newspaper published this. A small group of advocates for the, uh, for the rights of fathers appeared some days later, delivered speeches and uh, uh, demonstrated their unhappiness with the behavior of New Hampshire's government courts. The, uh, the fiery incident was faithfully, faithfully captured on surveillance devices installed by the inscrutable court. And these images, though of great and obvious public interest, perhaps even the historical consequence, were suppressed, perhaps destroyed, perhaps only hidden by the mechanical and near unremovable operatives, and perhaps above. Uh, this uh, this facility. Like all who had come before him, the tiny cadre of Americans, willing to expire themselves in this fashion, for the purposes of civic uh, uh, civic defiance, Thomas Ball departed unseen by the vast bulk of those he sought to inspire. We were left 
with little more than his, uh, his writings. The images of the scorched concrete ground and the robotic yet humanly arbitrary privations of this court which continued unceasing. But his testament bears witness to the machinery the workings of which are so often veiled behind um, hmm, behind the walls of gulags and the restrictions upon videography. He writes, quote, there are two kinds of bureaucrats you need to know, are the ones that say and the ones that do. The bridges between them is something I call the second set of books, again I am quoting. Quote, I have some figures of the success of their labors. You and I are in these numbers, as well as our spouses and children. Anyone swept up into legal mess is usually astonished at what they see. They cannot believe uh, what the police, the prosecutors, and judges are doing. Hmm. It is so blatantly wrong. Well, I can assure you that everything they do is logical and by the book. The confusion you have seen with them is you both are using different sets of books. You are using uh, the first set of books. Mm. And uh, the, the, the general laws or statutes and the court's ruling, uh, which the court's ruling sometimes call common law, they are using the newer set of books. That is uh, the collection of the policy, procedures, and protocols. Once you, uh, once you know what set of books everyone is using, then everyone, um, everything they do begins to look logical. Unquote. Ball went on to rec uh, recommend a course of action to doing to these buildings of prosecution and enforcement that which he had done to himself, immolation. Were it possible to inflict such a penalty without risk against human life? Such might be a crime easily forgiven by a public long tormented in this, the most incarcerative empire on the surface of the troubled globe. A word it is a But it is not for him, perhaps not for anyone, to designate the specific action uh, the others might uh, take to remedy their many and growing grievances. It is for him, it is for him, to be remembered for his legitimate objections. And for those objections to be rebroadcast. It is for him to know if his spirit still hovers above the spot so quickly in the desperately laundered of his corporal evidence that a serene yet momentous struggle still endeavors on in this often happy state of green hills and prodigious forests of relative if only relative forbearance of animated political and civil watchdoggery. It will do so, if necessary for decades, if necessary alone, until a new generation with all its power and might sallies forth to the rescue and liberation of the old. 2,000 liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project but there's a saying, my saying, actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com